What's up drummers? Today's drum minute is on feathering the bass drum. And this is used when we're playing jazz in the swing rhythm or uh, in the shuffle, which goes along with the swing rhythm as well. So the last two weeks, I've showed you a simple swing ride pattern. Uh, I've showed you the basic shuffle. And a few weeks ago, I showed you a basic uh, brush pattern that you can play for swing. And Feathering the bass drum can be used along with all three of these ideas, all three of these grooves. Um, the bass drum would be played on the quarter note. And notice that these notes are in parentheses, so this is the bass drum here. One, two, three, four. It's in parentheses because uh, imagine playing the bass drum with a feather. We're, we're actually playing this really lightly it's something that needs to be more felt than heard. It's not like a driving thud, thud, thud. It's more of a it's support to that high-pitched ride cymbal. So jazz is very driven by the ride cymbal, that ride pattern. But sometimes we want to add a little support to that. Some drummers will feather the bass drum all the time when they're playing jazz. Others add it when they feel it needs to be there and need a little bit more support. So um, here's a few examples of how that can be used in these grooves. So now I'm going to try adding in uh, some feathering on the bass drum to my basic swing pattern with the brushes. Another point I wanted to make is that you'll notice the dotted line here shows where the bass drum lines right up with the cymbal. So it beats one, two, three, and four. So as you're trying to place those bass drum notes, you want to make sure they line right up with your ride cymbal pattern. And now with sticks in the same basic swing pattern. Feathering the bass drum um, requires you to develop a touch on the bass drum. Um, a lot of times people ask whether or not to play with their heel up or their heel down. And you can feather the bass drum either way. Um, but this does require you to develop a touch on your bass drum. We want to be able to play our drums quietly as well as loud. You know, most people think it's easier to play at a higher volume. So we do need to practice developing that touch and playing at lower volumes. Uh, we want to be able to play with intensity at all volume levels, not just loud. So you want to practice playing that bass drum at a, a low volume and being able to keep that in time. And now I'm going to add in the feathering on the bass drum with the shuffle. 